your presence. And for this, we say thank you. Father God, we just give you honor, glory, and praise. And Father God, no matter what we are experiencing in life, dear God, we just want to take a moment right now to say thank you, Lord. Oh God, you have been good to each one of us this morning. Father God, hallelujah, is the highest praise so right now we celebrate you. Dear God, we just ask now that you have mercy upon us. Father God, thank you for your redeeming power, for your redeeming grace. Come now, Holy Spirit, we is thy prayer. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks and praise. Amen, amen, and amen. Our scripture for this morning, Acts, the second chapter, 14a. Then again, beginning with the 36th to the 41st verses. Hear ye now the reading of God's word. But Peter, standing with the men, raised his voice and addressed them. Therefore, let the entire house of Israel know, with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. My beloved friends, thus ends the reading of God's word. Amen.
grace and God's mercy. Amen. To God be the glory. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto my Savior, Lord Jesus the Christ. Holy Spirit, move in a mighty way this day that God will give the glory in all that we do and say. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Our message this morning, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. My beloved friends, we're living in a world filled with corruption. And this past week, many have cringed as we heard many governors, many protesters, along with 45, declare that it is time for the United States to get back to a place of normalcy. With this announcement, it has many persons of the age as to what will happen to America. What will happen with African Americans that are at greater risk of getting the COVID-19 virus because of health disparities such as hypertension, diabetes, asthma, obesity, heart disease, autoimmune diseases, kidney diseases, and people who smoke. According to Dr. Thaddeus John Bell, founder and CEO, of closing the gap in healthcare, African Americans are dying Yet, our world leaders are interested in reopening our states. Many would say that our leaders are corrupt and are thinking more about money than the welfare of its people. This can be considered as corruption. And with this in mind, it is ironic that the lectionary scripture for the week concentrates on saving ourselves from this corrupt generation. It is imperative that we understand corruption has been around since the beginning of time. Corruption is the abuse of public power for private benefit. In several cases of corruption, the abuse of public power is not necessarily for one's private benefit, but it can be for the benefit of one's party, class, tribe, friends, family, and so on. In fact, in many places, some of the proceeds of corruption go to the finance, to the financing of political parties. Over the years, we have seen corruption with the rich as they have placed bribes with our politicians to reduce taxes with the rich. Tax loopholes given so the rich will continue to expand their wealth. There is an increase of tendency for prisons to be privatized, and this is corrupting the system. It is wrong for people to profit from putting and keeping human beings behind bars. Somebody ought to say amen. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, powers that be continue to insist the need for the economy to be a priority versus the welfare of people. My beloved friends, this is truly an example of corruption at its best. As children of God, we must realize that, cor that corruption is running rampant, but as believers, we must do our part and that strong values, strong morals, and strong ethics be our guide for our daily living. I hear somebody saying, well, everybody else is a part of corruption, so why not join them? Well, be reminded of Romans 12 and 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable. Peter 
without a mindset. I'm so glad you have asked. Colossians 3 and 2, according to the message translation. So if you are serious about living this new resurrection life of Christ, act like it. Pursue the things over which Christ presides. Don't shuffle it along. Put your eyes to the ground. Absorb the things right in front of you. Look up and be alert to what is going on around Christ. That's where the action is. See things from his perspective. How many of you know we got to learn how to see things from Christ's perspective? We look for things from our own
and that we are all Israelites. He is one of the power to repent, be baptized, and accept Jesus the Christ as the Messiah. In order for this to have been a reality in their lives, church, they have to change their mentality. I don't know about you, but I want the mind of Christ. When I have the mindset of Christ, Lord, be to God, I'll be able to love my brother. I'll be able to love my sister. I'll be able to serve the way God wants me to serve. I'll be able to give the way God wants me to give. I'll be able to walk in humility the way Christ mandates that we walk in humility. And God Hallelujah. Finally, in order to save ourselves from this corruption, we must turn to God. Anybody knows that we turn from God? Too many persons have turned away from God. Too many persons have rejected God. Too many persons have turned to themselves for redemption and left God. Jesus the Christ and the Holy Spirit out of the equation. Some persons are turning to Washington, D.C. for redemption. Some persons are turning to the powers that be for our redemption. Some are turning to life, some are not disinfected for our redemption. But I want you to know that it's ours. In the name of Jesus, there is healing in the name of Jesus. There is salvation in the name of Jesus.